When I was taking rounds, a patient's relative looked at me and understood uh, that I'm the commanding officer here. He kissed my hands. I also bowed down and he said, can you understand what it means? I replied that it is a gesture of showing respect. And then he said, no, you are like my father. So I was very happy. Then after that, he said, sir, I represent the young generation of this country. And I assure you that the future generations will remember what your country has done for our country. A woman said, for me, Allah comes first and today. You are next to Allah for us. There was a dog squad with you and it was so cold there. It's not that cold in our country here. So how did they cope and how was their health there? Our dogs are in good health, sir. They did a great job. We first let Julie go sniff the rubble, then Julie barked, giving an indication of a live victim being stuck there. Then we sent Romeo for confirmation and Romeo also barked and confirmed about the live victim. We rescued two young girls from rubbles, one after 80 hours of the earthquake and the other after 104 hours. A lot of people did hear the applause when we were heading towards our plane at the airport for departure. But I wonder if anybody knows that people were also crying when we, the Hindustanis, were leaving. Wherever we arrive with the tricolor, people feel reassured that now Indian teams have arrived. That's why today, India enjoys goodwill all over the world. Having been buried under the debris for more than 72 hours, the patient come on a stretcher. When she left the hospital, she walked on her feet. While leaving, she had tears in her eyes. She thanked us, even referring to us as being equivalent to God. She said, I am thankful to you as much as I am thankful to God. Wherever the globe master of the Indian Air Force lands, a distinct enthusiasm can be seen among the people. They feel reassured that India has come to help them. Today, the images of India in other countries is that whenever anything happens, India will definitely help as much as possible and will do more than anyone else. Our culture has taught us the ethos of Vasudhev Kutumbakam. No matter the country, India always considers humanity paramount. There were different teams engaged in the operation. When they needed something, would they also help each other? How was it? Does anybody have such an experience? At an operation site, uh, we got an opportunity to work with the Turkish team and we continuously kept working at that site for about 72 hours. Sir, while we were working, we were breaching the rubble by adopting our own techniques. We were trying to enter with minimal removal of rubble. But the local army units mostly wanted to remove that rubble load by using heavy machinery. Eventually, they asked us to do the complete operation and observed us. Then they entered inside using our method. Operation Dost reflects India's dedication to humanity and our commitment to help countries in distress at the earliest. I heard that one of you left her twin children behind. Was it you? 
So have you met your children after returning? Not yet. This is a great inspiration for the country. You must have gone abroad for the first time. Many of you must have gotten your passport made for the first time.